I hope you enjoyed my presentation. During the presentation, I did try to explain to you what an organ a healthcare organization would go through during and after a merger. A lot of thought goes into the merger process to really keep the employee culture thriving. Senior management, including the senior management which I spoke to, understood that employees would have four paths to go down, and they wanted the employees to choose the right path. The first path they understood was for employees to resign after the merger. You do not want an employee to resign. It does cost a lot of money, and a lot of time is lost retraining and establishing new teams. Another path the employee could go down is to start to act unethically. Employees can become bitter during a merger. They could start to steal from the organization, steal healthcare information, which is not what you want. They could start to act unethically by cheating patients poorly, spending less time with the patients, maybe more time in the break room talking to their friends on their phones. You don't want the employees to suffer and people to act unethically during a merger. Another path the employee could go down is to be unmotivated. Healthcare works when people are highly engaged in their jobs and highly motivated. You don't want people to take long lunch breaks. You don't want people not to cover shifts. If somebody calls out, you want employees to cover for each other. Healthcare works as a whole. Work can get sloppy. A lot of healthcare work is done unsupervised. You are managing your own time. So when employees are unmotivated, it does hurt the entire organization. The last path is the path you want. You want people to embrace change. You want them to see the positive change. You want them to embrace the new logo and the new mission statement. You want to get them to this fourth column. Senior management understood not every employee will get there, but you want 99% of the employees to get there. This is where the community will benefit. This is where the patients will benefit. This is where visitors will benefit. This is where people's careers will take off. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation. I hope you understand the different paths that an employee could go down and how senior management and leadership plays a key role in getting employees to the path they want. Thank you for your time.